For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, let's do this exercise. It's a bit creepy because you can see the guy's bones. You can read the whole description, but basically what they're asking you is to find the distance D that a resultant force would act right here from A. So as you can see, you got this uh, distributed load and you have a, you want to find the resultant force. So when you want to find the resultant force, you got to find the area of this load and you're given a function. It's called W is equal to less distributed is 12 plus 24x squared. Let me turn it around. 24x squared plus 12, just to be a little more conventional. So this is the function that they're giving you. I just distributed the 12. Now, to find the area under the curve, what you need to do is a little bit of calculus. So the force is given by the integral of w dx from let's say this is 0 let's say this is 0 0.5 from 0 to 0.5 so this will be the integral from 0 to 0.5 of 24x squared plus 12 dx so this will be 24x cubed over 3 plus 12x from 0 to 0.5 so you plug in the 0.5 and the 0 0 and you're gonna get that this is equal to 7 pounds exactly now what you need to find is the distance where this force acts now to find that distance let's call it x bar x bar the distance from a is given by the integral of x times the function dx from 0 to 0.5 divided by the integral from 0 to 0.5 of w dx now the bottom we already found right here and we know that it's 7 pounds so this is equal to the integral from 0 to 0.5 of x w dx over 7. x times this function x times w is equal to 24x cubed plus 12x so this will be the integral from 0 to 0.5 of 24x cubed plus 12x dx over 7 oh, everything is over 7 so this comes out to be 24x to the 4 over 4 plus 12x squared over 2 all over 7 and this is from 0 to 0.5 this comes out to be 6x to the 4 plus 6x to the 2 from 0 to 0.5 all over 7 and when you plug in the numbers, you get that this is equal to 0.268 feet. So this whole loading can be, uh, can, you can build an equivalent of resultant force and the distance. The force will be equal to 7 pounds. And the distance x bar from A would be equal to 0.268 feet. Final answer and final answer for the force please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you